Blender. Okay. All right. I want to, you know, kind of talk about what I'm trying to do. Because right now, I have this ship right here. And it's shooting a laser or phaser, whatever you want to call it, at this ship, this ship, and this space station. Now, I'm going to go ahead and press play so you can see what I'm talking about. It shoots, it aims, it shoots, it aims, it shoots. All right, now, the way I'm going about this, over here, uh, I have a something, uh, an empty called camera aim point. That's my crosshairs, I guess you could say. On this uh, spaceship, now they, this, let me back up just a little bit. This camera aim point, this empty, see if you watch it, it will move from object to object. Now, of course, that's keyframed. And then on this ship right here, I have parented to it. I have three different emitters. I have, have the emitters named Fire 1, Fire 2, Fire 3. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, each of those emitters down here in the... I mean, they're literally... I'm using the particle system to shoot out particles in quick succession. As you can see, each fire, which only lasts 10, 10 frames, it shoots 5,000 particles, which looks like a coherent stream. And these emitters right here I have a constraint um, modifier or const uh, an object constraint I guess yeah that's what it's called object constraint applied to it and the object constraint basically m ensures that the emitter is pointing directly at is pointing directly at this the camera aim point which basically ensures that all the particles that leave the emitter are heading straight toward wherever this camera aim point is at now my question is well let me back up just a little bit too now let me go to this one so you can because you can get a better idea of what it's doing. All right, right there I have a stream of particles going to it. Now, if I put this in rendered mode, you can see that there's actually, actually a green glow on this um, ship. You know, like you would imagine a laser causing a green glow or whatever color the laser is. Now, particles in and of themselves in EV will not cast light onto anything because you actually need a regular light you know like a point light or sun lamp or something along those lines now I'm faking it because let me go back into solid view so you can see what we're talking about better now if I zoom in right here I have a point lamp and I have it placed near where the particles are going to be hitting and of course I have that uh, keyframed so that see right at right here it's off then it comes on and then it's on brightest and then it stays on bright until there and then it starts to fall off now this setup works but I'm trying to figure out if there is an easier method to do this because although this would work if I was if I was to create a huge scene 
the uh, it would be extremely complex in terms of uh, key framing. Maybe it's that's just how it has to be. I don't know. But I'm wondering if anybody knows any better ways to simulate the lasers. You know, as far as the impact effect, I, I will get that sorted out later. But I'm trying to basically create, like I'm doing here, where I have an empty that I move from point to point, which is my aim point, and then have that laser go to that aim point. Now, like I said, I'm using particles, and that's the only way I really know how about how to go about doing that right now. But it's a little bit, it gets a little complicated, or at least uh, a little bit cumbersome when you're talking about having multiple ships, multiple lasers, and all of it's moving at the same time. It'd be very easy to, um, for my old brain to get confused. So, if anybody has any ideas about a better way to go about doing this, and I hope I explained myself pretty well, um, do me a favor. Uh, give me, leave a comment. Give me some ideas, because um, I'm, I'm kind of, <laughs> you know, stuck right now where I'm having to use the particle system and maybe the particle system is what is best I don't know but my gut is telling me that there has to be an easier way anyway later people Thank you for watching this video. Here are four other videos you might like. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share it, or leave a comment. I try to respond to every comment on every video regardless how old the video is. Also, please support your favorite YouTubers by disabling ad blocker. Thanks again. Later.